Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters Welcome to the last chapter of our electronics course Chapter 7 Basic Field Effect Transistor Amplifiers So if for BJT Your BJT must be bias in the active region in order to function as an amplifier for your MOSFET it must be bias in the saturation region okay so it's different for MOSFET it has to be in saturation region so for your BJT if you can recall you have RPi you have GM and you have R0 eh? okay and similarly for your MOSFET there are also GM and R0 now the AC equivalent for MOSFET so you can see that there is no RPi here eh? so that's the main difference still have the independent current GM VGS and you still have R0 okay so if you go back to the formulas for GM is to multiply with the square root of the conduction parameter KN and the drain current and R0 is early voltage over ID eh? so this VA comes from the slope that has been extrapolated just like your BJT based on the graph of ID versus VDS okay so the early voltage can be calculated using 1 over lambda this lambda is known as the channel modulation uh, normally the question gives you what is lambda so if lambda is 0 then your VA is infinity okay and if lambda is 0 0.01 for example your VA will be a hundred volt so normally the question will give you lambda so you need to calculate what is VA and then you can calculate what is R0 okay so the arrangement of your AC equivalent is similar to your BJT the only difference is that there is no RPi here at the gate terminal so for chapter 7 we are going to cover the first configuration known as common source so common source is similar to common emitter the gain is negative and there are also three types source grounded with source resistor RS and bypass capacitor CS. So now let's look at one example. So this is um, a common source amplifier and you can see here the output is measured at the drain terminal. Okay. So we are going to do our DC analysis first because we want to find what is the drain current. Okay. So at the moment this portion is not included. Okay, your capacitor is open circuit. Eh? So once you change to VTH, RTH, you're going to have this configuration. So you do your DC analysis, which are the five steps. You need to confirm that it is in saturation. Otherwise, it will not work as amplifier. So once you do that, you have confirmed your assumption. You calculate what is GM. Okay, so the question gives you lambda equivalent to zero. So because of that, your VA is infinity and therefore your R0 is also infinity, which means that it will be open circuit. So this next slide is comparing your common emitter grounded and common source grounded. The first two steps are the same. Calculate the output resistance R0, which is over here. Okay. Uh, and then the V out equation is equivalent to minus GM VGS R0. So you can see for the case of common emitter grounded, you need to calculate what is Ri because you have Rpi over here. So Ri is equivalent to Rpi parallel with Rth. Okay. However, for common source, you don't have to do that because there is no Rpi and therefore uh, for the voltage amplifier block, your Ri will just be equivalent to Rth or whatever resistor that is connected to your gate terminal. So in the case of BJT, because your emitter is grounded, VBE is equivalent to VI. Your VI is measured from base to ground, right? For your common source, VGS is equivalent to VI as well. VI is measured from gate to ground. So that's why VI is equivalent to VGS. Okay? And then you're going to find the open circuit voltage gain. And then you go for the voltage amplifier block to find the gain V out over the input signal. So based on this example, we are going to calculate what is the gain V out over VS. Okay, so because the small R0 is infinity, you can see that I did not put the small R0 because it is open circuit, kan? right? So your output resistance is only your RD and your V out is measured over here. It is negative value because the current that flows through your RD is this current. Okay, so if I do my KVL here, so the polarity should be plus minus, right? And because the question wants our V out to be this way, that's why we have to put the negative signs. So VGS equivalent to VI and now we can proceed to calculate what is AVOC. 
So AVOC is calculated based on the equivalent circuit of the voltage amplifier. So AVVI is equivalent to V out and because VI is equivalent to VGS and V out is equivalent to minus 4.4 to VGS, you can eventually cancel out and you will get this equation of your AVOC. Okay. So next is connecting this voltage amplifier with the input signal and you can see here this is the input signal, right? And RI is always equivalent to the resistance connected with your gate. So in this case, it is your RTH. Okay. So use voltage divider to calculate what is VI, right? Which is this term. Okay. And then after that, V out is equivalent to AVBI because there is no load. And you will get V out over VS equivalent to minus 4.41. Your AVOC is minus 4.42. So we just covered step number one, common source with source grounded. So next is step number two, where your common source amplifier has a source resistor RS. So this is the configuration and you are going to do the DC analysis first. Normally in step number two, your small R0 is infinity. Okay. I have shown in the DC analysis of MOSFET that when you have RS in your source terminal, the calculation to get ID will be a bit challenging because you have this parametric equation. But anyway, as long as you know which ID to choose, you will be okay. So, for example, you have both positive values here for your drain current and you calculated your VGS, right? And you can see that both VGS are positive, okay? Which one should you choose? You should choose this VGS, which is 1.43 because it is bigger than your VTN. So, this is not the right one because this is less than 1 volt, okay? So, this 1.43 is related to this drain current so you are going to use this drain current to calculate your gm so the calculated value of gm is 0 0.872 milliampere per volt so let's do our ac analysis so again i'm going to compare common emitter with common source you can see how simple common source is as compared to your common emitter okay you can see that for common emitter because of this arpa you have two extra steps to get your voltage amplifier block. However, for your common source, we still have the three steps. So the output side is still the same. The output resistance is RD. The V out equation is minus GM VGS multiply with R0. However, for your common source with RS, you're still going to do your KVL over here. But it is simpler because you don't have to find any currents here. The current that is flowing through your RS is GM VGS, right? So the voltage across your RS is using Ohm's law, RS multiply with GM VGS. And because of that, to calculate your VI in terms of VGS, it is equivalent to VGS plus RS multiply with GM VGS minus VI. So this is the KVL equation. And then you factorize your VGS and it will be cancelled out when you calculate your AVOC. So let's do these steps to calculate what is the voltage gain based on this example. Okay. The output resistance is just RD because the small R0 is infinity. The output voltage is minus GM VGS RD. So we have calculated your GM. Multiply with your RD. Your RD is 10K and you get minus 8.72 VGS. And then the KVL which is VGS plus GM VGS RS. And you can see here VI is equivalent to 3.616 VGS. So next we can find our AVOC based on the voltage amplifier block. So AVVI equivalent to V out, replace your VI with 3.616 VGS and your V out from step number 2 is minus 8.72 VGS. So cancel out VGS and you are left with AVOC equivalent to minus 2.41. And of course after that you connect your input signal and your RI is RTH. No need to do voltage divider and because there is no load, your V out over VS is also equivalent to your AVOC which is minus 2.41. So the last type of common source is step number 3 with source bypass capacitor CS similar to your common emitter. The bypass capacitor is used to create a short circuit path during AC analysis hence avoiding the effect of RS. Okay. So because CS provides the short circuit path, it is similar to type number 1. And therefore, the calculation will be simpler. And now let's look at one example. You can see that at the source terminal, 
this capacitor will create the short circuit path and current source will be open circuit. Remember in AC, voltage source will become short circuit, okay, and your current source will become open. So the current here uh, will see two paths. One is an open circuit path and this short circuit. So this bypass capacitor is providing the short circuit path here. In this example, your MOSFET is biased using a current source. Eh? So biasing using current source is basically forcing your MOSFET to have a drain current with this value. So it means that you don't have to do your DC analysis because ID is equivalent to the value of the current source. So that's why I put it here. IQ is 0.5 milliampere, therefore the drain current is 0.5 milliampere as well. Okay, so you can straight away calculate your GM and R0 if necessary. But in this case, again, your R0 is infinity. So this will be your AC equivalent. So now the resistor at your gate is RG, it's not RTH. So in this case, the input resistance is RG. Okay, so we're just going to follow the steps which are similar to type number one when your source is grounded. And you will get the open circuit voltage gain. So finally, connecting the input signal here. And then there is no load. So the calculation will be easier. V out over Vs is equivalent to the open circuit voltage gain, which is minus 9.898. Right? So this last slide is showing the summary on the calculation of open circuit voltage gain for all three types of common source. I believe you have this slide for your common emitter as well. So next, I would like to do this example with you. And my plan is to do this example in two ways. The first one is without the bypass capacitor, which is step number two. And the second one is with bypass capacitor, which is step number three, so that you can see the difference in the voltage gain, V out over V in. Okay. However, whatever it is, whether it's type two or type three, for your DC analysis, you still need to include your RS. So this is the DC analysis. So the first step is the value of VGS using the GS loop. So this is the equation. And then after that, you assume in saturation and I obtain these two currents. And when I calculate my VGS, one is 0 0.54 volt and the other one is 2.96. But I am going to choose the 2.96 because it is bigger than VTN. Okay, the question gives VTN equivalent to 2 volt. All right, but you still need to proceed to confirm your assumption. So, um, calculate your VDS. So, 3 ID plus VDS plus 2 ID minus 12 equivalent to 0. And I have obtained VDS equivalent to 7.4 volt. Calculate your VDS saturation, which is 2.8 volt. And therefore, our assumption is correct. I proceed to calculate what is GM. And obtain GM equivalent to 1.92 milliampere per volt. Lambda is given as 0, which means that the early voltage is infinity. So the small R0 is infinity, which is open circuit. So now I will show you on the calculation of the voltage gain. So this is the NMOS circuit configuration. And you can see that I have turned off the supplies, VDD and the 4.8 volt voltage supply as well. So now let's do the AC equivalent. So similar to BJT, you always start with the terminals, gate, drain and source. Uh, there is nothing between gate and source. Between drain and source, you have the current source GM VGS and you have R0, right? But in this question, R0 is equivalent to infinity. We have calculated that. So I don't have to draw R0. So this is your AC equivalent. So now let's connect with the other resistors. So for your drain, it is connected with RD and straight to ground. So this is my VDD off. So this is my RD. My source is connected to RS. And finally, my gate is connected to RG. And this is my V 4.8 volt off. Okay, so this is my AC equivalent. So VGS is here. And your V in for your voltage amplifier is measured from gate to ground. So this is my V in. Okay. So there are three steps for you to derive the AVOC for your common source with RS. Okay. So the first one is R0, which in this case is equivalent to RD. And it is equivalent to 
3 kilo ohm all right number 2 is your the out equation which is measured at your drain and it is equivalent to minus gm vgs rb so gm is minus 1.92 vgs multiply with 3 and you will obtain minus 5.76 vgs so these are the first two steps step number 3 is to represent VI in terms of VGS, which is derived from the KVL equation here. Alright, and the current flowing through your RS is this current. So VI is equivalent to VGS plus GM VGS RS, and this is equivalent to 4.84 VGS. Right. So next is the voltage amplifier block to calculate your AVOC. So this is my voltage amplifier block. AVOC VI is equivalent to V out. So AVOC 4.84 VGS equivalent to minus 5.76 VGS, which is your V out. So you can cancel your VGS and you will get minus 1.19, right? So now we can connect the input signal and this question has RL, right? So we have to connect RL at the output side. Okay, so now the voltage amplifier is now connected to the input signal and RL. So this time, AVOC VI is not equivalent to V out because there is load. Okay, so V out is equivalent to RL, RL plus R naught multiply with AVOC VI. Okay, but your VI is equivalent to your V in because there is no input signal resistance. Okay, therefore V out is equivalent to 3, 3 plus 3. Okay, AVOC is minus 1.19 and VI is equivalent to V in. Therefore V out over V in equivalent to minus 0 0.595. So you can see the voltage gain is less than 1. And it shows how severe the voltage gain is affected when you have a resistor at the source terminal. So this is the calculation for type number 2. So next is the calculation of your voltage gain when you have the bypass capacitor. Okay. So for type number 3, I proceed straight away to the AC equivalent. So you can see that at the source terminal, the current here will see RS and the short circuit path. So as usual, you will ignore your... RS because the current will all go through the short circuit path provided by the capacitor C2. Okay, so because of that, your AC equivalent will be simplified where your source will be directly connected to ground. So, this is the simplified AC equivalent. So, you can C VGS will be in parallel with your VI over here. Okay, so now let's do the steps. So the first one, R0 is equivalent to RD, which is 3 kilo ohm. Alright, number two, your V out is equivalent to minus GM VGS R0. Okay, equivalent to minus 5.76. VGS and number three is VI is equivalent to VGS because they are in parallel. Alright, so next we just proceed with the voltage amplifier block. So this is your voltage amplifier block. AVOC VI equivalent to V out. AVOC your VI is VGS and your V out is minus 5.76 VGS. Cancel out. AVOC is minus. 5.76. So you already see that the AVOC is bigger than the AVOC for type number 2 just now. Okay. So next you can connect the input signal and the load. So now you can see here the voltage amplifier block is connected to the input signal and the load. Right. So I straight away proceed with the voltage divider at the output side. V out is equivalent to RL, RL plus R naught multiply with AVOC VI and we know that VI equivalent to V in 
Therefore, V out over V in is equivalent to 3 over 6. Multiply with minus 5.76 and you will get minus 2.88. Okay, which is way bigger than minus 0 0.595. So we have proved that having the bypass capacitor will improve the gain. Okay, so this is the end of chapter 7. So your final exam will be up to this point. So I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Assalamualaikum.